We're on the way to the airport and we're going on our summer holiday. My son has broken up from school, so he's got six weeks off. We're going to Mauritius for 11 nights and we're flying from Heathrow with Air Mauritius. I've pre-booked the airport parking, so hopefully it's gonna be nice and simple, not too far to go. We've got 23 kilos of luggage each, which is excellent because I have packed everything and made the most of that. We're gonna be staying at the Chandrani Beach Coma, which I've heard is an amazing hotel. So we're really excited and I'll bring you along with me. We've arrived, that was a long flight, 11 hours, 15 minutes but I'm sure it's going to be worth it. We've got a private taxi transfer. Apparently we're only about 10 minutes away from the airport. So we'll be really pleased to get to the hotel now. This is what you call service when you get a lovely cold towel on arrival. So we haven't long arrived in the resort. We can't quite get in our room yet. They've been brilliant. They've given us a room so that we could go and get changed. We could even get showered in there if we wanted to. But we've come and sat by the pool and look at this. How absolutely stunning is this? Typical, the sun's kind of gone in whilst I've gone to video, but that doesn't matter. You can still see how absolutely beautiful. And just that view going across the bay there is just spot on. I've got my first Aperol Spritz of the holiday, so I'm one happy girl right now. The Chandrani has an absolutely stunning reception area. Look at this, so much great padded seating, and then the absolutely wonderful view out there of the pool and the sea beyond. Loads of activities going on, which is really great, especially considering I've got a 14 year old boy who needs entertainment. So today is Saturday and this afternoon we have got, so um, there's a board race, there's kayak armada, ping pong tournament, which he will definitely like doing. And um, that looks like it's payable, but there is spin classes and there's also evening entertainment. That's every single evening, which is great. And up here is the buffet restaurant, and that's where we're gonna go and grab some lunch today. having a walk around and discovering the grounds and here's the tennis courts it's crazy they've actually got six full-size tennis courts and they're all flood lit as well look at those and this is inside the spa very very tranquil peaceful very calming okay so here we've got table tennis oh there's a few of them okay another one in there and another one here. Good, like a bit of table tennis, don't you, Henry? Yeah. Oh, got badminton as well. We're now walking to find this serious beach, and we're thinking by the looks of it over here, it looks quite rough. It looks like some really big waves. So that must be the reason they do different water sports on this side of the island. The sand is really steep here, and look at these waves. Wow. It's like we've come to somewhere completely different just by coming five minutes walk just to the other side of the island. The boys are just investigating the different holes. You've got like nine hole golf course here. So we've just found one of the golf tees and if you overhit your shot, it's going straight into the sea. <laughs> really? Yeah, the flag <laughs> is there. You have to hit it straight down there. If you hit it too far, it's gone. How many golf balls did we bring with us? <laughs> Probably not enough. <laughs> so this is the Sirius beach. As I've just shown you, that is the windier side of the island. It's a really beautiful beach still, but obviously you have got that wind. It does keep you very cool. And let's have a look here now. I mean, it's just crazy. The water is still through there again. This is the second pool. The main pool was where we were this morning. Let's go and have a look at this pool. Both pools can be used by children, by the way. No restrictions. Oh yeah, volleyball on the beach, that's good. 
Oh, another lovely pool. Look at this. Smells really good as well. They've obviously just been having lunch here. Oh, beautiful. Look at this pool. It's an infinity pool that looks right over that edge. Lots of people out here are snorkeling, so I'm presuming it must be pretty good. So we're definitely going to give that a try. And this is great. Look at this. You can get kayaks, pedlos, little sailboats. There's just so much to do. The water is actually pretty cold, which surprises me. Oh, look, it's a little shoal of fish there. Just further on from the main buffet restaurant, just around here, is the Thai restaurant. So we're going to go there one evening. We've booked this already. It's called the Teak Elephant. And very luckily, our room is just here, meaning that we are room number 10. So we've got a nice sea view and we're so close to everything. It's our first evening and we're gonna go and get a lovely drink and then head to the buffet for some dinner. There's evening entertainment every single night, so we're going to see what's on. It's quarter past six, so we're actually heading out quite early this evening. We had a massive rainstorm earlier, and it passed really quickly, but we all had to kind of duck in from the pool because um, everything was getting drenched. Um, and it got a little bit cooler just because it clouded over, so we thought we'd come in a little bit earlier. The bar has got a massive choice of cocktails, wines, sparkling wine, beers. The restaurant have been amazing and they have brought me a gluten-free pizza that they've made especially for me. You can't ask for anything more than that. I've been in the room and I could hear how much it was raining. All night actually it has been raining. Um, it's now 9am and I wanted to go to the gym but I'm now wondering whether this is a good idea or not. Do I just make a run for it and accept I'm going to be absolutely drenched? this morning is an omelette with a little bit of bacon and I've got in here some tomato and some spring onion. The rain has stopped and it's about 11 o'clock so we're just going to go and have a game of tennis. It's very wet everywhere but we think it'll be fine and then hopefully and um, we can get in the pool a little bit later. The rain has stopped and you're getting the rays come through from the sun. It's lovely and warm. They're doing some aqua aerobics over there. Unfortunately, we just missed it. If not, we would have joined in. But there's water polo here shortly. The water polo is in full swing. It's actually quite fun just to watch them all playing as well. I'm sitting here and I've got a lime and soda and the sun is out and it's beautifully warm again. I'm just going for a little wander now down to the beach, just going to find out about what we need to book and how we go about that. This is one of the restaurants for the evening. We just call it the Red Chair Restaurant. It's obviously not called that. Tonight we're at one of the restaurants at the Sirius Beach and Pool area. So it's not very far to walk down here. You've got boathouse activities. So we've got water skiing, sailing, windsurfing, kayak and pedal boats, glass bottom boat, which is what I'm interested in with the snorkeling as well. And there is a note of caution here about the stonefish and the jellyfish. And this is where you go to for your trip. So the Blue Bay Marine Park, which I've heard is absolutely beautiful. It's west of the bay and it's got the clearest and biggest lagoons of the island. So I'm really glad that we've stayed in this spot here. And when you come across to this part of the island, you realize how windy Mauritius can be. I don't know if you can hear me properly, but it is super windy out here. It can be pretty choppy on a boat, but I suppose they only go if it is safe. It's crazy really, because then over here, there's no wind at all. And you know, it's so sheltered that the sea is really still just come to grab some lunch and they've got a darts tournament and Henry's playing. On the menu they've got baguettes and paninis on here and then they've also got some breaded fish, roasted chicken, french fries and then some desserts and ice creams. Yeah. You won? Yeah. 
that I had 149. The, <laughs> the aim was 201. I had 149. It's only what 52. And so I was going for triple 19 and one. You win the medal. But I got. I got. <laughs> I got <laughs> and it was like. Uh, so I got triple 16. So I got, tri I got triple 16 instead, and then I needed four. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> The rain suddenly came in, so we had to move from the pool, so we're now having a game of pool. This is the serious bar and restaurant in the evening. It's gonna go for a little drink here, and then we'll go and get some dinner. We're just on the soup course, and there's really not a great choice for children, but it was absolutely no problem. So you've got children, then just ask. My son has got a pasta bolognese. Is it good? Good. Brilliant. They're really accommodating and really helpful. Yeah. Good morning. So it's another day and we've actually got some sunshine, which is great news. Obviously we don't mind it raining a bit, but yeah, when it rains all day, it's a little bit annoying, isn't it? Um, so we've just done a little bit of a warm-up session in the um, cardio gym. Now we're going to go to the weights gym and do a little session in there. Then grab some breakfast and get out in the sunshine. Henry's joined me this morning. We've got all techno gym gear and it's really good. So it's a really nice gym to come and use. And then this is the weight studio in here. Loads of machines, loads of free weights. Just having breakfast this morning outside right on the beach. Yeah. Looks like he's had his lunch like us. He's exhausted. This afternoon Henry's doing a table tennis tournament. Yeah. You're gonna beat daddy. Please say you're gonna beat daddy gonna try <laughs> lunch was good wasn't it yeah Henry had pasta bolognese again and he said it's the best bolognese ever typical me I've got to show you the soup before I ate it but it was a tomato soup and I checked there was no gluten in it and oh my goodness, I think that's the best tomato soup I've ever had. We've just done aqua aerobics. I think my son just enjoyed getting me drenched more than actually doing the aqua aerobics. And now they're doing a golf chipping competition in the pool, so the boys are going to join in with that. <laughs> Go on, Henry. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my goodness! So it's up. All right, Michael's going now. So close. Another lunch where they've catered for me gluten free, no problem. So we're just in the buffet and I've got some beef burger and I've got a bean salad there and some beetroot and olives. If you're considering booking this hotel, then I thought I'd quickly show you some of the cocktails that are on offer. So you've got their signature cocktails here, which has got quite a lot of choice. Then you have got ones with sparkling wine, so we've got Key Royale, Box Spears, Bellini, which is always good. And then over here, you've got the classic, all different spirits included, choice of beers, which are all included in the all-inclusive there. You've also got um, sparkling wine and wine, which is rosé, red and white. And then you've also got soft drinks, which is great. This is a big choice here. So you've got Orangina, Apple Ties. And one of the things that I've really liked is if they don't have what you want, so I wanted an Aperol Spritz, they do have a version of Aperol. My Cosmopolitan has just arrived. Let's give that a try. Cheers. It's good. Can't believe I've never had one of these before. It's about time, isn't it?
we've woken up this morning to a very beautiful sunny day and this is the view from my room look at that beautiful isn't it so we're going on an organized family bike ride this morning we think it's only around 5k but it'll just give us an opportunity to look around the grounds a bit more and hopefully we'll see some interesting things on the way you look great hen yeah. <laughs> just stopped off at this amazing beach area and there's loads of volcanic rock. The sea is crazy out here. Such an interesting trip and this was all included from the hotel. It's called Wild Beach and apparently the cows come down from over there and they actually go in the water. How bizarre is that? back from our bike ride it was absolutely fantastic it was out for about an hour and quarter and we saw so much as you will see in the clips that i've inserted it very much looks like the rain is coming whilst we've been here generally you get a massive great big storm that comes over and huge rainfall but it clears pretty quickly so hopefully that's what we've got this afternoon It's a beautiful morning here in Mauritius and I'm just going to go for a little wander and go and see the man that sells some jewellery and I'm going to go and grab a couple of bracelets, see what deal we can get on those. I got myself this cute bracelet, it's just got one little shell and it's just got the black sort of rope to it. Happy with that. Having lunch with Henry and we've got a lovely table here, look at the view. After lunch, we're going to go to the beach and hire out a pedlo. You can tell how good the weather is this afternoon because everybody is out here on Sirius Beach doing some sort of water sports. So we're going to see what they've got available. Hopefully a pedlo because we've not done that yet. The water was too shallow to be able to take the pedlos out because it's just dangerous. So obviously you want to damage the coral. So we've got a double kayak. Michael's got a single. It's lovely out here. It's so still and the water is absolutely crystal clear. being by the sea never get bored of looking at this look how green and gorgeous this sea is when we was out kayaking yesterday we actually spotted some fish i saw a um a box fish one of the spotted ones here we go <laughs> faster boys we're heading out now to go on the glass bottom boat so we're just going to go onto the jetty here and wait for it to arrive One thing, big eye snappers, Carodin. It's almost five in the afternoon and it's cooling down a little bit now. Lots of people playing tennis and we're going for a game of golf. Why are there always random birds whenever you come to a golf course? What are they over there? Maybe they look like dodos. <laughs> yeah, they're extinct. <laughs> we found a rare dodo. Oh, you were robbed. Oh, shit. Where's that gone? Cover your head. <laughs> hey, I saw it. 
it went straight up in the yeah. air, didn't it? The only chair you will remember for the rest of your life. Look at that. It'd be rude not to sit down, wouldn't it, really? Let's have a seat. <sighs> Look at that. Finished playing golf now. I'm just heading back to the room to have a shower and get changed. I'm ready to go out this evening. It's just after 10 o'clock and we've had some breakfast and we're going on a snorkeling trip today. So I believe we go to the same area as we went yesterday on the glass bottom boat. It was absolutely stunning on the boat yesterday. We saw so many different corals, saw some massive pipe fish and we saw a turtle, which was brilliant. We've got our flippers. I've got children's ones. Henry's gonna have his first go at water skiing, so they're just pressing him. I would love to have a go at this, but I know that I'd be useless. I fell off the Segway once, so there's no chance of me being good at this. I think he's gonna be good. Good job, well done, good job. You've done really well. Are the crepes, Henry? <laughs> it was dripping in chocolate sauce. We're on our way to the Thai restaurant this evening. We've had a couple of drinks and playing cards. <laughs> and annoyingly, my husband's winning again. It's so annoying. I just cannot beat the boys, but I'm going to continue. I'm going to try. We're kind of tallying it up for the whole week. Yeah, so we're gonna to go to the Thai and they do really nice wine in there. So I'm looking forward to that this evening. The water skiing for my son was really good. So he had his first little taster lesson and tomorrow he's gonna to get to do a little bit more in the morning. So that's gonna be great. The Thai is a set menu and I'm not a big lover of fish. So we'll see what the menu is tonight and I might just be able to request some chicken satay or something like that with some rice. We've got a Thai beef starter. Oh, this looks really good. No idea what it is, but we're going to give it a go. I'm feeling pretty stuffed already, but we're on to the soup course. I think it's some sort of mushroom. Is it ear mushroom and shrimp? We're back from the Thai restaurant and the food was really lovely tonight. So this is day two of learning to water ski. Up. Yeah. Practice makes perfect. Excuse the sweatiness, I've just been to the gym. It's early evening, I fancy doing something. We've been sitting around, well, I've been sitting around today, the others haven't. So I just did a little gym session and now I'm heading back. And one of the things I was just thinking about is how much I like this resort. It is a big resort. There's a lot of acreage to this resort, yet everything is so convenient and so close, which is really bizarre. So yeah, thumbs up for this resort. We are having a great holiday. So much to do, you can never get bored here. When it rains, it rains hard. and we've had such a fantastic time at the Chandrani beach coma. Um, unfortunately, we're not that well. My husband started off by getting a cold and a sore throat and now me and my son have got it and I feel rough this morning. Um, but I've managed to pack up and um, not everything. So we're not actually flying until this evening. So our flight is at 8.45 p.m. So we've got a night flight, which is kind of a good thing, but I can never sleep on the plane. It's so difficult, isn't it? Um, so yeah, today we're going to just do the last bits and pieces that we want to do. I know that my son would like to water ski again, so we're hoping that the weather holds out. 
um because it is due to rain today but i think every day it's said that this forecast is it's rain and it hasn't always rained we're here for lunch today as well and then um, we're being picked up about six o'clock so it's a real benefit of being really close to the airport you do see the planes coming over but it's not something that's bothered me at all and then it's only a sort of 10 15 minutes um we've got a private transfer um so 10 15 minutes around to the airport so nice and easy the tide is so low this morning there's people out there in the sea and you can see the corals and the rocks poking through we also look like there's a storm that's going to come right over us very shortly the last day has turned out to be a bit of a washout look at that i don't know how much it shows on the camera but it is absolutely chucking it down um we've had a few spells of sun about two three minutes at a time and then it just comes over like this we're heading home um i'm actually kind of pleased to be going home just because we're not feeling that well we loved mauritius we loved the hotel we stayed in there was literally nothing i can complain about it was a brilliant holiday